Hello everyone, I'm Albert Bevian with Spain on a Fork. In today's episode, we're going to be making una paella de bacalao y coliflor. Now for most of us, the only paella we ever eat or have ever heard of is the typical paella valenciana, which is the one made with chicken and rabbit. In today's paella, we're going to be using cod and cauliflower. Now, when you combine these two ingredients together along with our rice and saffron, we're going to create a beautiful dish with an extraordinary flavor. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up all our ingredients. We're going to start by grabbing five cloves of garlic and finely mincing them. Next, we're going to grab one head of cauliflower and we're going to cut it into small florets. Next, we'll grab a red bell pepper and we're going to cut it into thin strips. Okay, for the last ingredient we need to cut, I have one fillet of fresh cod here and we're going to go ahead and cut it into small cubes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab three cups of fish stock and we're going to add it to a saucepan. And we'll turn on our fire to a medium high heat. Okay, now we can get started cooking our paella. I'm going to be using a paella pan. If you can't find one of these, you can use any type of frying pan. So let's go ahead and put this in the burner and turn on our fire to a medium heat. And let's add about half a cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil to our paella pan. And once our oil gets hot, let's go ahead and season it with some sea salt. And let's add our roasted red bell peppers to the pan. And after cooking our bell peppers for about four minutes, let's go ahead and take them out of the pan. And let's put them on a plate with a paper towel to drain the excess oil. Now let's add our cauliflower florets to the paella pan. Okay, we've been cooking our cauliflower florets for about five minutes. And as you can see, they already have a really nice color to them. So at this point, let's go ahead and make a little hole in the middle of the paella pan. And let's add our cod. And after cooking our cod for about four minutes, you can already see it's almost done. So at this point, let's go ahead and start mixing it with the cauliflower in the paella pan. We'll make a little hole in the middle and add our five minced garlics. And about a minute after adding our garlic, and you can already smell that garlic fragrance, let's go ahead and add one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And let's mix it all together. Now we'll add about a half a cup of tomato puree and a generous pinch of sea salt and let's mix it all together. And now we're gonna add about one cup of round rice to the paella pan. And we'll also add some saffron in powder form. And let's mix it all together. Okay, so it's been about four minutes since we added the rice to our paella pan. At this point, let's go ahead and grab our three cups of fish broth that we've had heating, and let's add it to the paella pan. And now let's start creating little pockets to distribute the rice throughout the paella pan. We do not wanna stir the rice. Okay, so it's been about five minutes since we added the broth to the pan. At this point, let's go ahead and lower our fire to a low heat. And we'll continue to create the little pockets every minute or so just to distribute the broth throughout the pan so it reaches every grain of rice. Okay, so once you reach this point where there's very little broth left, you can run your spoon and you can see the bottom of the paella pan. Let's grab our red bell peppers that we cooked earlier and let's design them across the paella. And now let's turn off our fire, grab some foil paper and cover the paella pan. Let's add our paella pan on a flat surface. Now we'll grab a tablecloth and we'll cover the pan. And we're gonna let this sit here between five to seven minutes to let it rest. Okay, it's been five minutes since we covered our paella, so let's go ahead and take off the tablecloth. And the foil paper. And now let's garnish our paella dish with some lemon wedges. And there's our finished dish of una paella de bacalao y coliflor. If you enjoyed today's video on making una paella de bacalao y coliflor, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my future videos. Until the next time, hasta luego.